Hello everyone, and welcome back to All The Mods 9. We are of course uh, back on the server, we're joined today by Lost Cause 96, Final Autumn, um, Kelsey, Marty Man, P1BB, and Skills and Issues. We, we're actually, we're at the base we're at last episode, so this is Aurora's base, which if we go, um, FTB, oh, you know what, I've got it, I'll just turn the chat back on, one second. Um, which is made up of, um, Sloppy McFloppy, Candy Stitch, Mr. Munches, and Little Mooney. And last episode, I recorded it like 12 hours, maybe 16 hours ago. Um, and they've placed a roof on it. <laughs> All this grass wasn't here last episode. Um, there's even some sort of mob spawner in the corner that I didn't even realize. Um, and the base down there is still looking pretty much as it was before. Um, so yeah, we, we might have to come check uh, back in on this a little later as well. Um, I will say as well, I totally, I recorded the intro. Uh, that, by the way, looks like a naturally spawning thing uh, on the map over here. Um, I recorded the intro and I looked at this next base, um, but I had my mic muted accidentally, just for context. But this base over here might be the best bases I've ever seen. Um, I also went over the fact that um, in your video settings on Minecraft, turn tile entities down if you're playing late game and you will not regret it. It, it allows you to see, it allows you to have the benefit of having a million windmills without losing the frame rate of having a million windmills. But I don't know if you guys are ready for this because I don't know if I'm ready for this. Genuinely one of the best bases I think I've ever seen. We'll see if we can fall. That um, jittering you see is just server telling you that you're moving too fast. Um, look at this. So this is one, two, three, one, two, three, which is made up of um, Winestra and Nival94. Um, I will also turn it back down later. Um, Look at this. This is a huge base and it might possibly be the only base we look at today <laughs> just based on the size of this thing. This thing is incredible. And this is all perfectly smooth slopes. So I'm I'm assuming it's a bunch of framed blocks, but the glass might not actually be because it looks like it's got like a secondary frame on it. I have no idea where to begin. This is massive, and this is what I always want whenever I see a mountain. I'm like, oh, I hope there's, like, something coming out of it. Oh, and you know what? It looks like it might not be finished. So we might get to come back to this later and see the, the finished product. Um, I'll tell you what. We'll start at the top, because I'm guessing this is the base, and then under here might be, like, where they're moving to, possibly, or unless this is just farmland. Yeah, it might just be farmland up here. All right, so what, are we, what have we got? We've got grey concrete. We've got stairs. And then just more grey concrete. We've got obviously all the farming set up. This is beautiful, by the way. The design, the fact that some of them are off level, some of them are same. It looks really, it looks cool. <laughs> it, it, they've, they've, they've actually pulled it off. Um, this is a little bit weird. I wonder if this was meant to be the same level, but then that wasn't the same level. And so they've like, they've had a panic attack once they got to this part. <laughs> um, <laughs> but it looks really nice. I actually really like this. And then the floating greenhouse up here with um, the giant, beautiful um, archwood trees, a little bit of um, prismarine for the waterfall. This is beautiful. <laughs> this is also massive. I'm curious as well if there's going to be glass on the rest of these parts or well, what's going on there. Um, the view as well, you've got like almost, yeah, like some volcanic section over here, volcano and stuff. And then you've got forest beneath okay okay um so if we head down I, I don't know i do not know where to begin we have another little apiary here which is also very beautiful glowstone wall to keep it nice and bright probably looks beautiful at night time um we're using bliss shaders by the way um oh this door's open that doesn't seem good i don't think i opened it um hopefully none of their bees got out um if we could see oh you know what uh my one second i just realized we don't have the minimap on uh what? No, what, what? no, I thought it was asking me to save the changes. One second. Boom, accept. All right, we got a minimap. That might help, I don't know, see something maybe. Um, Cool. So, apiary up there. Then, how do we think we get into this part? I'm guessing at the bottom? I mean, that would make sense. It would make slight sense. Is there anything down here to connect? Mm, not too sure. This all seems solid. This bit over here. Oh, it looks lived in. Oh my God. <laughs> it's one thing to have a beautiful base. It's another thing to have a beautiful base that's lived in. All right, let's, let's just pop in and we'll start here. 
Um, so what's going on? The wow. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm overwhelmed. So this is light gray attic roofs. That's what these are. The uh, windowed parts from Macaw's roofs. We've then got sea lanterns, connecting glass. These right here, this is a framed slope, apparently. Does that mean on the outside it's a framed slope? Oh, okay, yeah, it's a half block through there. How cool. Okay, so this, this by the way, is an example of spotting a base that is very likely, like highly likely to be completely built from scratch here, as opposed to being pasted in, because everywhere you look, there's sort of a different mod sort of being uh, entered in. Lots of concrete though. But I mean, you can't really go wrong with it. You, uh, maybe like plastic or something would give off a similar effect, but it's pretty nice. Um, we've got calcite stairs, polished calcite slabs. Very nice. Deep slate pillars from Create. Got a nice little automated mechanism section in here using applied energistics, it seems. Massive room, smooth stone for the walls and roof. Oh, it looks so good. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah, yeah, hold on. Hold on, I, I wanna get a nice angle for this. For the thumbnail. How am I going to encapsulate this? That's a possibility, but I think you kind of need to see it from above to truly appreciate that it's in a mountain, but then like you sort of miss out on the sloping of it and the scale. Oh, this is a, this is a hard one to get a picture of. This one you might see, um, <laughs> just to cut away from things for a second, you might see three different thumbnails um, when this video shows up in your feed. Just a warning because I can't decide on which one to use. <laughs> Um, it's some channels use it to see which one gets the best reception. I use it because I've got three thumbnails and I can't decide between them. I've got a pillar for the uh, extended pattern providers and extended molecular assemblers. I never knew that there were extended ones until recently um, for the molecular assemblers. So that's pretty cool as well. Um, we've got, oh, cool. We've got like a little hub section for the um, applied energistics. And if you're on the ground, it looks perfectly cool. It looks like a nice hub that goes further down. Um, but obviously within it is, um, what do we call it? I don't know. You can go through and wire everything. Oh, and there's a massive, yeah, middle section in here that you can wire everything up in. Very cool. Very cool. Okay. Um, we'll check out over this side, see how they've gotten the walls to work. Th there looks like there's a little bit of a in progress part over here, maybe, or maybe this part's just not really meant to be there. I'm not, not too sure. The ground's not even covered off. Yeah, I, I think some of this is still work in progress, which is even more impressive. The fact that th there's more to this. There's more on its way. Connect the glass. That is awesome. Can you imagine if I built like this? Wow. <laughs> the videos would be so much better. <laughs> All right, let's 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 continue on. Um, I'm guessing, oh, check out this part first. Oh, cool. We've got the um, energizing orb behind some red connected glass. Um, that's pretty cool. I like that. Yeah, nice. <laughs> Sweet. All right, we do have some teleporters here. Now, these are not working because I am not on the list. There is an elevator here, though. So we might come back to these and see where we can teleport to. But for now, I think we'll just sort of manually go through things. Wow. We have every share stone on the planet. I'm guessing this is uh, leading to a bunch of different locations. I wonder if these are all, hmm, might be worth checking these out. Like, should we have a quick peek? We'll have a quick peek. I'm a little bit confused though that these all have the same name but a different colored. What's, oh, does that mean, oh, interesting. I wonder if that means that these are all, like, like someone has this exact same setup at their base, perhaps. You know what I mean? Interesting. The true spawn Aurora. There's so much going on. Um, let's have a I'm curious about the dome. We're just going to teleport to the dome. We'll experience it and then we'll teleport back. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Hold on. Okay. Ah. Okay, cool. So. Look forward to that in the next episode. <laughs> as well as the rest of those. Oh my God, we've hit the jackpot. All right. Um, let's check the teleport pad. Let's see if they've done anything in the mining dimension. I'm not too sure. I doubt it. Just because the mining dimension is typically just a, a void world to uh, dig stuff. Sorry about the visual artifacts. That should fix itself in a second. Um, yeah, it looks pretty standard. There's some digital miners over there, but then just, yeah, just quarry stuff. 
just quarry things. You know how it is. We'll head back. Um, cool. So we'll jump onto the elevator again. Can we go up another level? We can. This is by the apiary. I don't really know if there's anything else in these directions. There's like lava and stuff or some of them. Um, was this the elevator? If this wasn't the elevator, then I'm lost. Okay, it was. <laughs> All right, we'll go down. We'll go down another level. All right, cool. It does exist. Okay. So, what do we have? We have some little flame. So, this is very... It's still tech, but it's like less tech. You know what I mean? Like, we've gone further down. So, we've started getting some like candles and flames lighting up the area. We've got something down there. Someone's down there. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure out what that is. Um, we've got some more machines behind some red stained glass. A little bit of a theme happening. The same calcite slabs. Not polished this time, I guess, because we're further down. Very nice. So, mystical agriculture. I do wonder, is this automated, do we think? Let's have a quick look. Um, doesn't particularly look automated, but you could um, entangle the blocks. So, we're, so, I'm not too sure. Also, I like that it's elevated for no reason other than that it looks cool, I think. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I like that. Just that small little detail. Um, even this. Oh, just like a little bit up and a little bit down. I like it. I like it. It's like, it does nothing. But it makes it makes it look better than if this was just a super flat room. You know what I mean? Things like this, I, I, I need to learn when I'm building. Not that I build often, I guess. Um, to incorporate stuff like that because it's really, I don't know, in the moment you might think it's dumb, but I mean, clearly it pays off. Um, so yeah, we've got a nice little farm here in the corner. What do we have? Oh, we've got some, uh, all lasers, laser drills, all fun stuff. All right, we'll continue. So we'll go, we'll go this way. Nice big corridor, big walls as well, like bigger uh, pathways. So once again, we go down on another, on another level. This one might make sense because you've got bigger structures, so you need a bigger room, but yeah, you know what I mean? Like it, it definitely, it, it adds something to it. It's such a small thing, but like the difference between this just being a flat room with the stuff in it compared to just, just two steps and you get all this. Um, cool. I think you could have, you could have, it might've been over the top. But you definitely could have done it again. You know what I mean? Like had these on a different elevation and I think you'd get a similar vibe. Um, so yeah, we've got the reactors in here. They're looking pretty cool. A bunch of, uh, and are these energy cells? Yeah. yeah. Energy cells. And these are hooked up to the flux network. Cool. So that's just like bulk storage pretty much. Very nice. I will right, we'll head on and we'll go to the left here. Oh, this looks cool. I'm, I'm already, <laughs> I'm already liking this. Um, so underneath we've got like some mossy stuff happening down there. Um, I don't know why, but I like it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, it looks pretty cool. I wonder if they're waiting on stuff to spread or if there's some sort of... I wonder if that's a, a mystical plant that eats moss or something. Because there's stuff around here. What is it? Mystical magenta, flaring azalea, dirt, and then moss carpet on some of the dirt. Very interesting. Okay. Cool. So, it's like even more intentional than I than I thought. Because it's literal carpet place. Um, cool. All right, we've got a mob spawning room over here. It looks to be automated with these. I imagine they turn off the lights to allow stuff to spawn. Pretty cool. Um, in here, we've got some chickens. I, I don't entirely know what's happening here. There's clearly some sort of automation with the vector plates. So what happens over here? All the chickens are going into this one block, which is, there's dirt where I'm at currently. And then in this block, there's... Just infinite chickens. Oh, and there is a animal feeder here. Sure. I'm a little confused, but that's okay. Animal feeder. Yeah. All right. Sure. <laughs> yeah, cool. Whatever. Um, all right. So over here we have um, storage for items. As you can see, lots of items, lots of storage. Once again, we go up a nice level here. We have um, our neural network stuff there. A few more plants here. So just some wheat and stuff. I imagine that's for the animal feeder um, just over there. So cool. Once again, nice and tidy. See, I I can't see myself ever doing this. Because <laughs> like if I'm like, oh, okay, we need chicken farm. I'm going to like maybe make the chicken farm and then slap the stuff right next to it. And then that's the, that's the room. You know what I mean? 
Whereas this, the like, the animal farms happening here, and then the the actual like crops are being grown over here. You know what I mean? And like, it's so far away, and all this is built around. I, I it's crazy. It's really interesting. I, that's why sometimes I do like seeing the bases before they're done, because you can sort of see a bit of the vision of like, oh, okay. It's not just like finished product. It's like, here's the thought process. Um, cool. Is there another level below? It doesn't look like it. I'm, I'm not going any further below when I do that. We'll jump through and double check. There is, however, interesting. There are some holes that lead all the way down to seemingly bedrock, but I guess just nothing there as of yet. There's a mine shafts around everyone's bases. It's Pretty hard to miss them, to be completely honest with you. Um, cool. Have I missed anything within this space then? Um, interesting. That was the main hub part over there. We've got the reactors, the crops, all of this underground to this thing. This is this is so. We, we're gonna have another look at it. Even like this bit here. Like ignore that <laughs> for a second. Just ignore that for a, half a second. This is awesome. I really like this. I'm a big fan. A <laughs> big fan of, the, of that coming out of the uh, wall. And then the fact as well that it like goes through in there. Because does it actually? I don't think it. Oh, no, it does. Oh, yeah, that's actually really cool. I didn't even. It didn't even click that like this is actually properly. It's all interconnected. That's so cool. They've done a really good job at making it look really good. <laughs> That's awesome. This pillar here, th this pillar is not perfect, but to be fair, it might not be done. I'm not sure. It's hard to, it looks great from here, but it, it does cut off quite sharply. And it looks, it looks too 2D, but I don't know, it, judging on this bit, I think it's not finished. You know what I mean? I think there's more to happen here. By the way, um, these sloped blocks here, um, we'll jump back into creative. Um, these are frame slopes from framed blocks. One of my favorite mods, especially for building. Um, and so what it will be is it will be, um, like you place it, see this, you can see that where it's going to place, right? You place it like that. And then you grab a block. So you say grass, for example, you right click it in, boom, you've now got diagonal grass. It is an amazing mod. Um, and yeah, pretty cool. So that's how they're doing all, all the slope stuff. Um, aside from that, that's why I wasn't sure if these were just sloped glass, but it's actually McCaw's roofs uh, pulling this off, which looks pretty cool. Um, this part's a bit weird. We've got prismarine framed slopes in and out, giving some... I don't know, it's very, very odd. I mean, it obviously works in the scale of the whole thing. It also, it's very green. And I don't know if that's from the prismarine or just from the reflections. Very cool. This stuff over here, by the way, I don't know what it's from. I think it's a biome thing. I think... But I don't really know. Because it is just acacia leaves. They're just grey for whatever reason. Um, if I toggle shaders off, they're still that colour. So I have no idea whether it's some sort of radiation thing or something. Some decay, the biome. It's very odd. Very, very odd. And like some of these trees are fine. But then other ones are clearly going through it. <laughs> Not a clue. Um, toggle shaders back on. Um, but yeah, phenomenal base. Um, let's double check this section over here. This is just a giant hollow section currently. I think just with the, the, uh, waystone stuff, this stuff clearly still a little bit, they've got to put something here. I wonder if they're deciding on whether putting a wall here or whether they're going to have another section in here. It's a very beautiful mountain they've picked as well with little outcroppings and stuff. Oh, you can even see some, uh. Little staircases from before, <laughs> from before the technology, um, to pull everything else off. Um, have we seen it all as well? I think we mostly have. I just because I just noticed that, and I'm like, okay, is there anything else sort of in this direction? Not too sure. What a crazy location though. So what's this? The, yeah, volcano biome. What a cool biome. Yeah, lots of building blocks out there. Um, yeah, okay. So, well, I feel like I was going to say something, but I forget. 
Oh yeah, um, let's have another look at certain parts of the base with a few different shaders, shall we? Because this is a sight to behold. The view is spectacular as well. Um, oh, even with like a little village down there. Oh, that's, that's so cool. Someone else has uh, claimed that village. Um, oh, you know what? Small chance again that that village is lived in. Interesting. Just based on like the hub and it's very, I don't know, it looks very tidy. You know what I mean? At least from a distance. Um, all right, cool. So this is the base with bliss shaders. Um, cool. Let's go ahead and check out, what should we start with? Um, let's look at complimentary. Complimentary is a classic. It looks quite similar in my opinion, but I guess we're about to see. So less talk, more do. <laughs> Um, it always takes a little while to switch shaders. Sometimes it's very fast, sometimes it takes longer. I don't really know the difference, but there we go. This one, you can see a lot more of the light splotches, I guess. <laughs> a little bit more obvious. The clouds are very fun though, um, at least with the way that I've got my shaders configured. See, I don't, I don't think it does it justice with these shaders. I, I, I normally am a fan of them, but it's not really doing it for this. I think because of the lighting. Um, da, 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 da. we can have a look at complimentary unbound. I don't really know if there's a difference, uh, to be honest with you, but I guess we'll see. I have no idea. I don't remember what the plus euphoria patches are. Not a clue. It might be something to do with distant horizons. Um, just, I guess for, for context, um, same sort of thing. Let me know if you know what setting or if there are some settings I can do to make it look a little bit nicer with the um the lighting you know what i mean like it's clearly like some sort of smoothing that needs to happen there's lighting here um i'm not sure if there's a way to you know spread it out a little bit so it's not as sharp in the center you know you know what i mean like you can very clearly see like there's a light source there there's not a light source there like uh, two blocks aside i want it to be smooth you know what i mean um anyhow or at least not noticeable all right we'll try makeup ultra fast um, ultra fast is obviously a lower quality setting, although in saying that I've probably, oh no, we can change it. Let's do, um, let's do extreme plus, <laughs> um, motion blows on. So I guess we'll, we'll go a bit slow, but there you go. I guess this is a lot darker. Like it's still day. The sun's still up there. I wonder if it's cause there's a cloud in front of it. Very interesting. Um, but yeah, completely different vibe you get from this. This almost, um, Almost suits suits it more. It's very greeny again. It's very gloomy. This is the one downside as well to um feral flare lanterns. I think especially with shaders. Like if we toggle them off, this looks beautiful. You don't see it, but for some reason with the shaders, I think because there's such an emphasis on light sources that when you have a feral flare lantern that puts invisible light sources everywhere, it ends up looking like this a lot of the time, and it's out. It's horrible. It's why sometimes in my builds I don't use them and I instead just place light sources where I can, which is annoying, especially on a large build like this because you're going to have to implement some sort of um, like light bar or glow, you know, some something in the room, which you can do, but it's more work than just slapping out one of these. Um, but yeah, uh, what else do we have? We've got rethinking voxels. Check this guy out. See what's happening. See, this, this does a better job at... Um, it's a, it's a much larger effect. You can still see, arguably, these are giving off a worse light source than the ones that they create. Because obviously, there's light sources everywhere in this room. It's just these ones specifically from the Feral Flare Lantern block itself are yellow, which is a little bit weird. Um, yeah, oh, oh, let's go outside. Hold on. This one's a little bit laggy, so I'm wondering if it's going to look a little bit better. <laughs> you know what? I think so. This looks pretty good. You can see as we get further away, somehow it's getting more light on it. I think because, I don't actually know. That's very interesting, isn't it? When we get closer and I guess they're like somehow unloading. These are nice, these are nice. So what, what, what's this that we've got? This is um, Rethinking Voxels. Once again, as you can see, a little bit laggy. I think they're laggy because they do something different. There's a whole point about them being called Rethinking Voxels. <laughs> I don't remember entirely, but. As you can see, pretty cool. Pretty cool. Um, the Once again, with all of these, they have so many settings. Um, if you ever see me using a shader and you're like, oh, it should look better than that, let me know. And, and I can, you know, look into it and try to get the settings a little bit better. Um, we'll try Asus PTGI. 
These ones are quite demanding as well, um, typically, especially the PTGI one. If you do the RR, that's like half render resolution, so it's a little bit more performance friendly. Wow. <laughs> I don't know if you guys got that same, like, uh, just feeling of like, ooh, <laughs> like this is, oh nice. Once again, not perfect, but also possibly perfect. I feel like it's not perfect because the sun's clearly there. I think we should have more light hitting like this, for example. But I think it's still almost treating it as if the sun is, I don't know, a little bit too above compared to where it physically is. You know what I mean? I mean, it's casting shadows if, as if it's there, but then we're not getting anything down here. Which maybe that makes sense. I don't know. This, I feel like there should be some hidden, hidden this stuff. I don't know, but it's it's like almost perfect. You know what I mean? Like it looks really good. I think the um the blending of the light <laughs> for lack of for lack of knowing words. Um, that's how I'd describe it. Here's what the inside looks like. Might be easier to look down here in this room. Um, another problem with the sous shade is mine might be outdated as well. Keep keep that in mind as I'm looking through stuff. So the lights that do light up with sous shaders are some of the best in possibly any pack. For example, blocks of lapis, I believe, they emit light as well, and they look so good. Like even emeralds and redstone emit light, and they look beautiful. Like the effects really nice, and you sort of you get you do get like a mix of the light. It's kind of hard to tell, but if I were to grab uh, redstone, oh, uh, redstone block, you might be able to get a better see of what I'm talking about. See how it kind of mixes, and you get a bit of like purpley in the middle, as opposed to just like two sharp colors. Really beautiful, but as you can see. Not not uh not too much mod support at least you know once again with my version of the shaders and my settings. Um, but imagine if this was all glowing and like you had the lights where they're meant to be and you know all these machines were lit up. I think it would look the best, to be honest. Like look at that. I I, I love shaders. <laughs> if that's not abundantly clear. Um, oh, is it worth looking underground at the shaders? Oh, definitely not with these ones. As you can see, it's a little bit too dark. Um, but. I don't know what's causing the lighting here, but it's clearly... Oh, there's a redstone block under there. And so you're getting this really demonic <laughs> vibe happening. Oh, this area looks nice because they've, they've got some uh, vanilla light sources. So it actually, it, it, it lights up pretty well. How cool. The glass, um, some of the glass, as you can see, some glass normal, some glass water. <laughs> I don't know, just, just a few little bugs. But um, yeah, very cool. Um, I'm just trying to make my way back up. And this this looked like a nice area to come up at. Yeah, cool. Um, I do think as well, actually, in saying that, some of them, the half render resolution, we'll go to version three. That's the latest I've got. Once again, I haven't checked in probably months. Um, as you can see, instantly sort of feels like more frames. Things should look a little bit blurrier because it's, you know, half the render resolution, if I'm understanding stuff correctly. Um, but some things look different as well. Oh, the other the other one was way better, right? I think so. Once again, it's probably half of my settings. Um, what else do we have? We've only got a few left in my list. Once again, if you've got any you suggests, please do let me know. This is, what is this? Silders? Silders Shaders, one of my favorite. I've used it for years. Like genuinely, it's one of my first shaders I ever used because it runs phenomenally well. You have the option in the settings. It's one of the only few that have it for whatever reason from memory at least, where you can turn shadows off, which might seem dumb. Oh, <laughs> apparently it is. <laughs> uh, why is it? Huh. For some reason, I remember you get to, huh. Why do I feel crazy? <laughs> Hold on. Huh. I don't know. For, for some reason, I remember you used to be able to turn the shadows off and you would still keep the beautiful sky, the beautiful light and stuff, but it just wouldn't cast a shadow everywhere. And so you'd get the benefit of like half the shaders without um, the performance impact. Um, but yeah, as you can see, I think they hold up pretty well. Uh, Silda's shade is really, really nice. Um, once again, a different vibe, a lot more, um, I don't even know, a lot brighter, I guess, but it's like an orangey light. You can as well, I should mention as well, there's uh, ways to change a lot of stuff in Silda's is what I really love. Um, emissive light, you can change the coloring. Um, so if I were to mess around with these, you could set it so that it's pretty much a white light or a blue light, and you can really customize it so so it's different. You can lower the emissiveness of it, the brightness. 
you can really fine tune it to um to the base you're living in. But as you can see, it looks really nice, even with that stuff on top. I like them. I like them a lot. Um, and last but not least, we have Solar Shaders. Um, these ones are pretty nice. I'm a fan of them. It's a little bit misty at the moment. Oh, I think that's a cloud or something, maybe. Um, again, I, I think these will work pretty well. Um, oh, that's a light. I, I don't. Yeah, I think I think it's because we're in the clouds that we're getting that. I think. Very very cool. I lo I love them. I genuinely love them. Um, we'll jump back to Bliss. They're currently what I'm running at the moment. They're um, big fan of them. I'm really enjoying the vibe they give off. It's very clear. You don't feel like you need to rub your eyes. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, oh, sorry. Had a little bit of a burp. I apologize if that sounded weird. Um, and I don't know. You still get the splotches, which is a little bit annoying, but I don't know. I feel like they're a little less noticeable. They're a little more dismissed, I guess. Diffused might be the better word. I like them. I think they're beautiful. I think they're really cool. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. We'll just check out the one base today because it was a pretty big base and I think it deserves uh, its own video. Um, once again, this was 123123, one, two, three, uh, which was... Ah, we'll load up the chat so I can see it. Um, boom, slash, FTB teams, info, 123. Boom. Um, Wanestra and Nywell94. Thank you guys for building this base. This is spectacular. Thank you so much. I've... I'm happy now. I'm ha I'm happy that I've at least seen one base that did what I've always wanted to do. You know, like have it crop out of a mountain, pulled up on the mountain. It looks beautiful. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Hopefully you're enjoying the series. Um, hopefully you're enjoying checking out the base. As you saw, we've got the dome to look at, wherever that is. Might be near here somewhere. I'm not, I'm not too sure, but that thing looked crazy. There are a few other bases on the Waystones that look pretty cool. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Thank you, of course, to our donators and our channel members, past, present, and future. Thank you, guys. Thank you to our tier three channel member, Fun Phoenix Thirteen, and our previous tier three channel member, Melizzy, um, who was uh, subscribed for a long time, as have a lot of you guys been. Um, thank you to you for watching the video, and hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.